Hey you guys. I just want to let you know that I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And we are going to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor and do the face. I was going to say Facebook because, yeah, I don't even have my Facebook. But anyway, do the YouTube thingy like Emily Banker says. And to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification bell. The bell notification helps you to see when I get my channel, uh, excuse me, my videos out there. Um, also, liking the video helps to get my channel out there for people to see. We are going to see where your energy is. Remember, red hearts, if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates and green hearts if you're working on it. We have some kind of communication coming through, some type of movement uh, with the Eight of Wands energy. Um, movement, communication, or travel. When it comes to uh, maybe a celebration or happiness, something you're grateful for. Um, the magician tried to pull out of the energy or show its face. So we are going to see what other energies come out. Um, yeah, there you have it. We have this card, the hermit. You've been in hermit long mode and you've ended several situations because you felt like they weren't leading you to any type of success. So the communication is there. There is celebration there. Hermit mode says sometimes a card fell on the floor and it came out sideways. The Hermit card says sometimes you need to tear down the limiting structures you have built from yourself. No. Hermit energy, that is the... What is that? You have built for yourself. The tower moment is what I was just saying. Okay, it says sometimes you need to withdraw in order to rediscover your own rich inner world through tranquility, meditation, and reflection. Something about this situation you had to reflect on and end. The death energy says embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death is not the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings because probably in the king of wands energy a true leader that leads from the heart inspires others to do more dream bigger and be better was something about why you chose to do this maybe you were choosing to lead in a new direction and inspire others to do more or maybe you were dealing with someone who wasn't in that situation so the two of wands energy comes out with unsure because at some point the plans of travel and new ideas with the person, place, thing, or a situation. It was a lot of indifferences, uh, some, a lot of in, inner conflict. And so that's why this energy comes out sideways. You who are hesitant on things when it came to maybe a King of Wands type energy or, yeah. Uh, this, can we take this sideways or do we take this in reverse when it comes to the Knight of Wands energy? The Knight of Wands energy, um, excuse me, why am I saying Knight of Wands? Knight of Pentacles, because I'm looking at the Wands. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse um, is exaggeration, potential dishonesty, and stupidity of a person. Sorry, calling it what I see. And in the upright, um, the Knight of Pentacles is stability, perseverance, and security. So uh, it says you can't get the results without first doing the work. Show up, work hard, and keep pushing every day. Somebody wasn't showing up. Somebody wasn't, you know, working hard in regards to this situation. And so now the communication is there and the movement is there. And somebody is willing to travel because you've ended something and you had to reflect on why you ended it. And so that is what, they, or you had to have them reflect on why. You didn't even bother anymore trying to explain yourself. You showed them some type of reflection and went from there. So that is kind of how I see this energy uh, when you, um, yeah, uh, while you're reflecting on it, you know? You know, so that is kind of how I see that. Uh, you know, again, take what resonates, leave what, do what doesn't. Hold on one second. I'm texting my son. Uh, but yeah, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Somebody wasn't doing the work. Somebody wasn't leading in the right direction to where you felt enough, stable enough to make a new, to have a new beginning or have a beginning with or be able to travel um, or move forward uh, or make plans with for the future. And so that's kind of how I see that energy. If that makes sense, you know, you have to understand that another unsure energy. Yeah, you were struggling. 
you were struggling, you were juggling how you did things, you know, the two of pentacles and the upright is doing things with ease or your priorities or adapting to situations. And in the reverse, uh, it's uh, disorganized, you know, um, oh yeah, my bad. Uh, this is disorganized energy um, or, you know, uh, feeling like a loss of balance or, you know, like it was too many carefree type energies that you had to deal with when it came to how you felt, you know, and somebody with somebody leading or doing or putting in as much energy as you were, if that makes sense, you know, so yeah, yep. And the star energy comes out and says, no matter the situation you find yourself in, there is always hope, have faith, be optimistic and focus on self-care. So in order for you to have the nine of pentacles energy, which is, um, you know, success, great love and rewards, you had to know that you had to focus on yourself first. And now it just seems like maybe there could be some type of movement or communication or there was you know, movement on your part based on the actions of someone, the King of Pentacles or the Knight of Wands type energy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull from Tarot to clarify the um, Eight of Wands energy and the Three of Cups, the Hermit. Uh, look at this. The cards that come out is the same cards that's already out here pretty much. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, you know, the Queen of Pentacles says a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. But for some reason, this protect and care for them no matter what wasn't the same energy that you were receiving. So remember, JDS Tarot says that the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself when it comes to opportunities, great love and joy. And so therefore, there was the ending again. The death energy says. So embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death is not the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. And therefore, you had to secure and limit the way you did things with the four pinnacles being here in order for the consequences of somebody's action to be put at hand and use your intuition and say again to yourself, reiterate, no matter the situation you find yourself in, there is always hope. Have faith, be optimistic, and focus on self-care. So that's the communication that's happening, the movement that's happening. Because, again, you reiterated to yourself that, you know, there is always hope for a person to get things together and to grow up, basically. And that's called growth. So you wanted this person to grow. grow. Now we're pulling from the Three of Cups energy to see why it is here again the three of cups energy is happiness being grateful yeah because somebody wasn't grateful for the way that you love the knight of cups in reverse is letting you know that there was empty promises or moodiness when it came to dealing with somebody who felt like the way that you love was a fantasy the hermit card being here with the hermit card being here let's see Yeah, the Hermit card, you had to withdraw in order to rediscover your own rich inner world through tranquility, meditation, and reflection. You had to reflect on why things were being the way that they were or happening the way that they were. Yeah, because, yeah, your belief system had to change. Your belief system and this other energy's belief system had to change. So you had to withdraw because it was causing you more heartbreak and you had to seek liberation and look at a new direction with the Three of Wands energy. Find gratitude and happiness somewhere else by working on yourself with the Eight of Pentacles, excuse me, with the, uh, yeah, Eight of Pentacles energy. Now, this could be where we're at the eighth year of dealing with situations that you had to actually end with the death energy coming out twice. Remember, though, death is not always physical. Excuse me. Sorry. Death, uh, embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death is not, not the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. So maybe somebody is transforming when it comes to this death energy being here because they didn't realize with the Knight of Wands energy being in reverse. The Knight of Wands is you only live once. So they felt like you would always be there. But this is them having arguments and being angry and impatient with you. And they felt like you would always be there. Like you only live once, be bold, be fearless, do what you love with the Knight of Wands being in the upright, my Drake energy. But they felt like you were gonna always be there for them and be the fool, but the fool is in reverse. So the fool in reverse is letting you know that 
the fearlessness and taking risk and being reckless is what they didn't realize that, you know, that all that energy would cause you to end the situation because you know, with the nine of pentacles in the reverse, this is ignorance. And this is feeling overwork, like overworking you because they are inexperienced about, first of all, how to deal with the cancer, you know, first of all. And they realize that, you know, it's those small things that mean, uh, are, that are big to us. And so the night, the king of wands energy being here is letting you know that they weren't the true leader that led from the heart and inspires others to do more, dream bigger and be better. That was your energy. And so now they have to understand that when you decide to move forward uh, and get out of that energy of just accepting the bull, then you turn around, you know, see the tables have turned. That's what that means to me. Because the nine of pentacles here in the upright and then being in the reverse over here, same with the star energy, a card flew out. Yeah, the six of cups, I'm trying to make sure no other card. The six of cups and the, uh, so the six of cups is in reverse and the ace of wands is sideways energy when it came to this person leading. So the six of cups in reverse is letting you know that you were leaving, you becoming independent and you were moving forward, right? You were moving forward out of this energy of this person not ready to lead. And so the Ace of Swords coming sideways was like you had clarity even about the separation, even though it was confusing and it was difficult times because you couldn't just see how this person could just be this way. The Two of Pentacles comes in with the communication again. So when you decided to leave the situation, no matter the difficult times or difficult situations that you felt when it comes to the separation, the two of uh, wands energy being conflicted, right? Either making plans, travel and new ideas, or because there were indifference and inner conflict, you had to move forward. You had, you communicated what it was that you wanted and you move forward. Uh, with the eight of wands, excuse me. Yeah, the eight of wands energy being here. The eight of wands energy is travel, movement, and communication. So you communicated that this person wasn't showing up and doing the work and did not lead for you. And so with the knight of pentacles, yeah, you had an unsure energy of if this was going to be a victorious situation or was it going to be delays, more delays, punishment, and dealing with excess pride, which was ego. So you went ahead and walked away. And the Two of Pentacles being conflicted again with how you did things. Again, the Two of Pentacles in the upright is uh, doing things with ease. And then the reverse is disorganized or loss of balance comes with really not wanting to set boundaries with a person that you care about and you, but you realize, you know, look at the side eye here. The eight, the nine of wands energy is uh, recognizing your strengths and having to, you know, you know, set a boundary or draw a line in the sand. And then the reverse is re resistance and being closed minded and reluctant to know that your priorities aren't being met. So you had to decide to set the boundaries and the star energy lets you know that no matter the situation you find yourself in, <laughs> walk away. There is always hope. Have faith, be optimistic and focus on self-care in order for you to get your, your, your rewards. You know, you, you were patient long enough. And therefore, with the Queen of Wands energy, it's being conflicted again with moving forward with confidence. Confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself, own your flaws, and rock them with care, without caring what others think. And that's the Queen of Wands energy. But feeling the need to be backstabbed. So, you know, the Queen of Wands in the upright, because it came out, these cards came out conflicted. The King of Wands queen of wands i'm sorry the queen of wands in the uh reverse is insecurity or feeling selfishness or aggressiveness you know but in the uh upright it's um confidence and it's nurturing and having pride and you know moving forward so you were kind of unsure how to feel 
you know, you weren't confident enough and you were knowing that this is insecure energy, but it also with the 10 of swords energy in the upright, feeling like you're being backstabbed, but in the reverse coming up with the abrupt conclusion, no matter the situation you found yourself in. And this is because the ego is here. You know, the uh, five of swords energy in the upright is uh, an unwinnable situation and feeling like sneaky or defeated. But in the reverse, it's a power struggle and that uh, you making you hate this situation, you know, and it made the ego show its face, you know, even more when it came to the person. There was no growth here. And that's why it's conflicted with the sun energy. There is no growth, you know, because this person is childish, you know, this is, should be a rebirth. This person has to have a rebirth, but in the reverse of the sun energy, there's negative negativity, there's arrogance, and there's carelessness, uh, and no room for growth here. And so with the two of wands coming out the same exact way, there would be no room for any plans or travel or new ideas because there's so much inner conflict and indifference uh, when it comes to dealing with this person, place, thing, or situation. And even though you know the struggle is there, the conflict is there. Five of Pentacles energy. In the upright, the Five of Pentacles is fear of losing a person or being isolated or being in poverty. And in the reverse, it's um, recovery and hardships, also crisis. So in this process of the star, it says again, no matter the situation you find yourself in, there is always hope. Have faith, be optimistic and focus on self-care. And so that's what you had to do in order to get out of this energy. You had to walk away in order to find your rewards. You know, nine of pentacles, your success, your great love and your rewards. But remember, it still does say the death energy comes out twice. No matter the situation, excuse me, embrace change. Embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death is not the end. It's not the end. It might not be the end to the situation, dealing with a person, place, thing, or a situation, right? Death is not the end. It's a transformation that helps brings new beginnings. And the new beginnings come with you having to set a line in the sand and set your boundaries and know what your priorities mean. So when you change this information, uh, change the situation to what you're juggling your own priorities and setting boundaries so that you can have the ability to do that, then that's when the situation changes for itself and the str struggle is no longer there and you find your rewards. But it takes for you to walk away with the Eight of uh, Cups energy in order to find your rewards. The Eight of Cups energy says, um, excuse me, yeah, I'm saying that right. Let go of what does not serve you and move forward to the next chapter of your story. And the next chapter of your story is success, great love, and rewards. And that all took with you having this inner conflict. I'm going to pull from the Ascended Life Oracle deck to see what it is that somebody has to, you have to, I mean, you just have to walk away. You have to walk away to get your rewards, your happiness, and your success, and your great love. You have to walk away for that great love. You know, you have to walk away for the success. You have to walk away. Single life. See? Single life. Living your best single life. Working on yourself. Becoming more self-reliant. Not settling for a bad match. Oh, my God. Clean up. Sweeping away negative situations. Cleaning up your life. Decluttering your mind. Simplifying your life. Walk away for your success, great love, and rewards. And that means single life. Everything after this will be the new beginning and the transformation. It says, again, death is not the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. And that's a part of single life, cleaning up and sweeping away the negative situ situations, cleaning up your life, decluttering your mind, simplifying your life. So now we're going to pull from the, I mean, I, I it, sometimes I just get floored when I actually sit here and I do these reads and they don't have drama in here. It's just basically the cards. It's not the other oracles and things like that. It's just cards of self-reflection. It's the cards that's telling you what you have to do to be successful. The Aragonite is the, the crystal that came out. This is telling you what you have to do to be successful. This has been sitting up here in front for a minute, but this is you grounding, grounding yourself 
and stabilizing and centering yourself. Come on, you guys. This deals with your root, your root sacral and crown chakra. And you see when it sits up here, it was sitting like this. If you go look at the last few past readings, it's been sitting like this. The root chakra is your survival, your ability to survive, to be stable and to ground yourself no matter the situation you find yourself in, right? Excuse me. Your sacral chakra deals with your emotions, your intimacy and your confidence. You know, sometimes in intimate relationships and your emotions, you're, you lose your confidence. But that's why the queen of uh, uh, wands shows herself. No matter the situation you find yourself in, confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself. Set boundaries. Own your flaws, right? It's okay to love the way you love. And rock them without caring what others think with confidence, right? Sometimes you got to tear it down and embrace change, right? So your sacral chakra, we, are, we said your emotions, your intimacy, and your confidence. Your crown chakra is your spirituality, your selflessness, and your wisdom. You have to use knowledge to manifest the change that you need in your life. Sometimes you have to use knowledge and change your belief system and be selflessness. Not, it's not that you're being selfish. You have to focus on self. Not settling for bad matches. Becoming more self-reliant. That is the single life. And sometimes you have to go through that. The Aragonite, um, Arag Aragonite crystal says, I am grounded and connected to the energy of the earth. Sometimes you have to ground yourself. And that's why we go into hermit mode. Hermit mode again. Sometimes you need to withdraw. In order to rediscover your own rich inner world to get to this, your own rich inner world through tranquility, meditation, and reflection. But it's not just about the finances. It's not just about the rewards. It's about the love, the great love. Again, not settling for bad matches. You're cleaning up the old, out with the old, in with the new. In order for you to not settle for a bad match, Working on yourself, becoming more self-reliant. Let's release this old energy. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. And remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.